Taurus, welcome back to Shea C. Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to our channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. We're going to get started with the Unicorn Oracle. I hope you're all doing well. Let's see what the guidance and advice messages are for you. Uh, this can play out from your perspective or anybody who is cross-watching for their other placements, a love interest. Again, it depends on who's watching as to who this is going to resonate for, okay? So take it as it resonates for your situation. You may need to flip roles, okay? So I'm going to do pick a card with the Unicorn Oracle. And you're meant to hear all three messages, Taurus. No peeking now. <laughs> no peekies, okay? Um, but the first message you choose is your strongest message, your second, your second, and your third, your third. And then we're also going to pull some fortune guidance messages for you, some fortune cards for you. So stay tuned. Don't go away. Watch until the end because I have a lot in store for you, okay? We're going to get your person of interest, what they might be going through currently. Um, again, it can be vice versa. Generally speaking, though, I tend to pick up the other person's energy, whoever is on your mind it can be a friend a love interest a crush someone from your past someone you haven't met yet um, it could be somebody that you never quite connected with but wish to connect with etc okay so it's gonna be different for each one of you remember it's a general reading some things may resonate now some things may resonate in the near future okay so let's go ahead and get started first message share when you share everyone feels happy so Taurus, you need to share your toys. <laughs> you need to learn how to share better. Your feelings would be good um, because a lot of you hold back. Um, I know that sometimes Taurians can be a little bit guarded um, in self-protect mode a lot. They're very, um, you know, it's kind of like you have a hard time trusting people. Um, you're very stubborn, but you're also very logical. You're also very loyal and... Um, it's kind of like you have this high intuition about you and you pick up on things. So you can usually read people's thoughts really, really good. And I feel like that is what kind of keeps you guarded because you can feel people out really good. So Spirit's saying, you know, try to let your guard down a little bit and realize that it is good to share and it allows everybody to kind of feel happy, right? Okay, and if that's not your message, it definitely could play out from the other person's perspective. This could be their energy I'm picking up, right? Maybe they're not sharing. Brothers and sisters, to get along with others, see the love and the best within them. So your spirit guides want you to see the best in all others, okay? Brothers, sisters, um, everybody. Try to see the best in people. But I feel like Tauruses do that anyway. I feel like you are always looking at the best in everybody, okay? You are guarded um, until you get to know somebody, which a lot of the fixed signs are Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, um, are very, very guarded until you get to know people. And that's because you're just very, um, you have a trust barrier, right? Um, people have to meet that trust with you. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I just, I feel like spirit is saying share with everybody and definitely like to get along with others, just see the best in them. But again, like Taurus, I feel like you all do that. You always see the best in everybody. Even some people that don't deserve for you to see the best in, I feel that you do. I feel like you give too much of yourself. So this definitely could be the other person, okay? Laughter, you need a good laugh. So perhaps you haven't kind of been um, nurturing towards yourself. Maybe you've been too serious lately or in a funk. Um, Spirit is saying you need to go out and get a good laugh. I know it's been difficult for many of us lately. Imagine, what would you see, feel, think, and hear if your wish came true? I'm going to read that again. Imagine, what would you see, feel, think, and hear if your wish came true? What would your wish be? Okay, that's everybody's job down below. Torians, cross watchers, write down below. What would your wish be if you could have your wish granted? What would that be? Write in the comments below. I want to hear from you. Let's pull the fortune guidance cards here um, while you think about that. All right, we're going to pull three fortune cards for you and you again are meant to hear all three messages let's see what's going on for Taurus angels and spirits what are the messages that Taurus needs to hear so I'm concentrating on April for those of you that are brand new 
Okay, so these messages again may resonate later, but I'm focusing on the energies for April in the extended, which for those of you brand new will be pinned down below in the comment section as well as the description area. I will extend this reading, meaning I continue it on. Okay, it's a lot less expensive than a personal reading, but if this resonates for you, you may wish to take advantage of that. I will dig so much deeper, but we'll sneak peek a month and ahead. I always sneak peek into May. Okay, so the following month, because we kind of want to snoop and see what's going on next month, don't we? I do. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. First message, rainbow. Ooh, who just got this? Scorpio just got this. The most difficult part of a situation is over. So Spirit wants you to know the rough patch you've gone through is almost over and or it is over for some of you again each one of your timelines are going to be different you're going to see a beautiful rainbow come out of a storm you've just been going through here and spirit wants you to laugh and have a good time now and to see the love and light in everybody here okay next message dragon beware of self-delusion here so don't delude yourself into thinking everybody's good every you know um I don't know why I felt the need to say that. Just don't, <laughs> I don't feel you do. Because I again, I feel like you really are good at guarding and protecting and knowing who is good and who is not. So you may be becoming the dragon. You're so very self-aware here and you're being very careful here. And that could be why perhaps spirit saying, go out and have a good time because you've been through this rough patch and you need a bit of laughter here. Um, and maybe you're having a hard time after going through this storm, going towards your rainbow. Maybe you're having a hard time kind of like, um, getting along with some others right now it can just be that it's a rough patch and it's temporary is kind of what I'm getting here hopefully temporary Ooh, Lily spiritual love you have spiritual love coming Taurus spiritually connected um, love coming here for you in the future I feel that's part of your rainbow here Ooh, very nice okay let's see where we're gonna take this from so Taurus I'm going to use the combined uh, Zolar deck, the 1960s and the 1970s uh, deck. Um, they're vintage. Sometimes I can get double confirmations of what's going on. So again, it could resonate from your perspective or whoever you're dealing with. Let's see, Taurus. Don't forget to smash that like button. Okay, it's truly important not only for our channel to grow, but for others to hear these messages. And we definitely right now, more than anything in this entire world, need to share the light and the love and the positivity. So spread these lovely messages to other Torians, please. That would be truly appreciated. My girls and I really appreciate it. When I say my girls, I'm talking about my daughters. For those of you that are brand new, I don't have a harem of girls around me or anything. <laughs> um, I'm talking about my daughters. Um, Anyway, that's how Shea C formed, is uh, the first three letters of each one of my daughter's names, for those of you that don't know. All right, let's see what's going on, Taurus, for you. What is going on recent past for Taurus? What are the messages? Okay, so in the recent past, you may have been um, in a very solid connection, commitment here. Let's see, or that's what you're wishing for, Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Oh, wow, okay. So Taurus, this could be your energy or you could be dealing with another earth sign or water sign, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like you're moving towards commitment, family here, very, very, very slowly. You want your whole enchilada in the recent past here. Moving very slowly here, being very careful here. You're basically almost not moving at all, <laughs> Taurus. You're, you're um, moving at Taurian level here. Okay, so you're acting like the King of Swords. Again, I feel again like Spirit is saying um, maybe you're very kind of like distant right now, kind of cold right now, not in a laughing mood here. Um, I feel like you've been through part of a storm, but Spirit wants you to know that the most difficult part of that storm is over. And I feel like Spirit is saying, try to find a little bit of laughter in your life right now. It's okay to be self-aware. You do have spiritual love coming in for you. A spiritual gift is coming in towards you. Who is this King of Swords? Who is this King of Swords? Wow. Taurus, what's going on here? Hmm. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer here with the Knight of Cups. You're very serious. You've got your so sword up here. Now, this can be you or whoever you're dealing with. You could be dealing with Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or again, a water sign. Um, you know, the king of swords is somebody who could be, to keep in mind of a judge, somebody who's an authority, somebody who's very serious, very honest, very direct, very blunt. It definitely could be you. You can come off as very blunt at times, making a very serious offer. Dinner invitation, 
could be towards you or you towards somebody else. It's kind of like I'm very serious. I want family with you. OMG, that went flying on the floor. That's been happening like all day. Hang on, Taurus. Okay. Wow. It's like you're very, very dead serious. You or someone else. I feel this is you because the Knight of Pentacles. But again, you could be dealing with another Earth sign or somebody with strong Earth, air, and water in their chart. I feel like you're making a very serious offer to somebody. I want to take you out. Let's go out here. Um, let's talk about commitment. Let's talk about our future here. I want to lock you down. Let's get engaged. Let's get married. I feel like you're going to be very, very, very dead serious here is what I'm getting, Taurus. You are somebody else here. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep going. We are so not done. I know you've been waiting a while for a reading. I've been kind of tied up in personal reads and healing stone bracelets. So I apologize. It's not that I don't want to, but my readings are quite long and intense because I like to dig. So I can't seem to stop at short readings. Okay. What's going on with the Knight of Cups for Taurus? What's going on with the Knight of Cups with Taurus? This is like the present. You're, you're wanting to make a very serious offer here. You're thinking really um, intensely about making this offer. Yeah, you're thinking about the future. Should I? Uh, I feel like somebody could be at a distance from you, okay? But you're holding the wand right there. You got your back towards the other one. I feel like you're looking toward a new beginning here. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like you want to take somebody out, romance somebody here. You know, the Knight of Wands, or Knight of Wands, sorry, the Knight of Cups is the most romantic knight in the deck. You really want to romance somebody here. You're feeling the love is what I'm getting, Taurus. There's good news coming here, I feel, in the near future here, okay? Wow. All right. That's about making future plans. You're very serious about making future plans here. You're going to be dead blunt. You're dead serious about making an offer here, making plans for the future. You're trying to sort things out here. Wow. Two to the three of wands. So in the near future, you're making progress here, Taurus. Your ships are coming in. Things are starting to happen here. Again, the worst of a storm or situation um, is almost over here for most of you is what I'm getting here. So you're starting to see fruition of your hard work, of efforts that you've been putting into um, a relationship perhaps here. Yeah, you're wanting balance here. You're wanting an equal give and take. You're waiting for balance. You're waiting for an equal give and take in a situation. Um, I feel like it's a love connection for many of you. Again, it's spiritual love, which is a very deep connection here. It's something that doesn't come along every day. I feel like you want to give to this person, this love interest equally here. You're waiting at a distance quite possibly for some of you. There's distance here involved six of pentacles or this is them waiting for you could be both of you wow ace of pentacles yeah yeah you you're waiting they're waiting it's like for something tangible it's like let's let's do this thing let's start this new foundation together let's have this balanced relationship we can have family and commitment together you know we're spiritually connected here there's a connection here that um is is worth putting the effort into here beautiful energy okay let's go ahead i want to get a moon message so these are a new addition taurus i just absolutely love them i can't stop buying new cards i just love them <laughs> the more messages the more we dig the better i like it let's see what's going on for taurus what are the love messages from their person? This can definitely go vice versa. Don't forget to check your moon rising Venus signs. I apologize. I don't remember if I said that already, but in the playlist, you can check out your other placements. If you know what they are, you can definitely get messages from each one of them. I do. I definitely resonate with my other signs as well. So if you know what they are, check it out. If you don't, all you need is your birth date, time of birth, and location. Go to astrosofa.com, calculate it, and check it out. Okay, what's going on for Taurus? What are the moon messages for April 2021? So in the extended, I'm also going to pull the tarot of sexual magic. We're going to get the intimate messages between you and whoever you're dealing with. We're also going to ask spirit questions about your person, how they may be feeling about you, what might be hidden that you need to be aware of, what their intentions are, any action being taken. We're going to focus on May. We have here good intentions. So your person has good intentions, Taurus. So they're definitely feeling the same way. They have good, serious intentions is what I'm hearing. 
One more for Taurus, please. Moon advice, guidance, messages. <laughs> they're daydreaming about you, Taurus. And they're ready for more than just text, which means that they're ready for more, Taurus. They also want something serious long-term. Their intentions are good. They're real. Um, don't be guarded because their intentions are true. Okay. All right. Let's keep digging here. All right. Let's get your energy here for Taurus. What are the messages, angels, and spirits for April 2021? What does Taurus need to hear the most? What's going on? Who's around them? What are their intentions? What's going to happen in the near future that they need to be aware of for their highest good? So remember, Taurus, if this doesn't resonate for you now, it could resonate in the future. A lot of my repeat clients, um, you know, they let me know when things change for them, when things happen. It's really awesome, and I love it. So if you want a personal reading, you can def definitely hit me up at shacy.com. What's going on for Taurus, please? What are the messages? For April 2021, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Angels and Spirits. One or two, please. Angels. Oh, I just saw the Ace of Swords. OMG, they're flying out. Unbelievable. I believe it. It's been happening all day. Okay. Wow, Taurus. What's? You have three major arcanas in a row. Like, bam, none here, and then bam, all at once. You're all or nothing, aren't you, Taurus? <laughs> Wow, you could be dealing with a Leo, another Taurus or a Libra here. Doesn't have to be. I'm just calling out the signs. I feel like you're really trying to maintain a certain level of sanity here. I feel like you're taming and controlling your emotions here. You're kind of holding back right now. Um, you could be going through, for some of you, not all of you here, a divorce because I have the Hierophant, the Justice, the King of Swords. You could be uh, in the process of going through a legal separation for some of you here. Mm, you could be dealing with an attorney for some of you I'm hearing as well here, talking to an attorney about divorce or separation here. And for others of you, it's like you're just trying to kind of maintain a balance here. You, you want a balance give and take here, and you're kind of looking for something fair and balanced and you're trying to kind of hold back here because I feel like you're you're going through this period of a situation that's been very stressful and you've had to kind of exercise a certain level of self-control in it okay I feel like you're being very spiritually guided as the Hierophant that is your um, energy. So you're trusting your spiritual guidance right now here. Okay. I feel like <laughs> you're being divinely guided towards spiritual love here and you're just trying to be patient here. Okay. I think that's why you're moving so slowly. You're trying to make um, a careful balanced decision here with the justice and the six of pentacles, but you're getting past that period of where you're feeling a sense of lack. Okay, so I feel like you're starting to get on your feet again, or you will be. Again, the worst of the situation is over, Spirit is saying. Okay, so whatever balance or justice you're looking for, I feel it's coming for you, if it hasn't already. Let's get the mutual energies between you and whoever you're dealing with. For April, please, angels and spirits, what are the mutual energies between Taurus and their person of interest? I'm using our exclusive Shacy Prism Tarot deck. Okay, for those of you that like to know, I always use it for the mutual energies between you and whoever you're dealing with. Now we're in the future for Taurus. Who is he dealing with? How are they mutually near one another with regards to their energy, their feelings, what they're thinking, what they're hoping, what they're wishing, any blockages? Taurus and their person of interest. How are they mutually near one another? April 2021. What are the messages, please, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? You go to shacy.com for anything you need to know or the description area, okay? What are the messages for Taurus and their person of interest? How are they mirroring one another? What are the messages? How are they mirroring one another, please, angels and spirits? For those of you that are returning, I appreciate you all so very much for your continued support. It's really awesome, okay? So thanks so much for doing that. Wow, reunion reconciliation here. More air energy here. So you're very, very serious about reuniting with somebody, reconciling with somebody here, having a new start here, um, laying a new solid foundation, okay? Uh, I feel like you just want fairness, you want balance, you want an equal give and take here, okay? So this can be a current relationship 
or you're going towards somebody at a distance here. You're really thinking about your future here. You're waiting for everything to happen. Yeah, look at that, baby. Your whole enchilada, again, the Ten of Cups. You just want happiness, you see? You want your dreams to come true. This is your dream here, okay, is, is a new start here. You want fairness. You want balance here. You want justice. Mm-hmm. And possibly here a reunion or reconciliation with somebody here that you're thinking about. Again, possibly for some of you at a distance, emotionally, physically, or both here. You're wanting to even it up. And that reminds me of that heart song. <laughs> I'm not going to sing it. Not this time. <laughs> oh, what's going on for Taurus as person? How does Taurus feel? How is Taurus as person feeling toward Taurus? What is Taurus as person feeling towards Taurus? Angels and Spirits for April. 2021, what are the messages that Taurus needs to hear? How is Taurus's person feeling towards Taurus currently? What are the messages from Taurus's person of interest? Remember, flip it how you need to. It depends who's watching and who's going to resonate for. They've got a lot of love for you. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer here. Mm -hmm. The Queen of Cups is somebody who is, you know, warm and uh, mature, responsible, makes a great parent. Uh, the Queen of Cups is also somebody who can be emotional, but always very balanced between their head and their heart. They make careful decisions. Um, they are very balanced, which is great. Uh, they're also very supportive and highly intuitive as well. Very spiritual, usually. Very creative. And also very compassionate, although sometimes it can hide that. Okay, Wheel of Fortune. So fate, destiny, okay? Um, this is all about divine timing. This is the karmic wheel of justice as well. So you could be dealing again, or they're dealing with you. Again, you're on here, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Leo here. It's interesting because we have Leo's energy here. We have your energy, Taurus, right here with the Hero font, right? And um, um, of course, We've got Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer with the Queen of Cups here. And we've got the King of Swords, which is the air energy here, the mutual energy. So I feel like perhaps right now, um, you may not be talking to one another here at this time, okay? Uh, you may be doing more thinking than anything here about, you know, I want my whole enchilada. I want to reunite. I'm You're thinking about this here. Both of you are about your happiness, about the future here, about having this whole Ten of Cups here, about being balanced and fair here. Change is coming with that um, Wheel of Fortune. Again, Major Arcana. So this is about your destined faded path here. I feel could be with a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. It could be your uh, spiritual love here, okay? This is a turning point here for a water sign here, okay? I feel like they've got a lot of love for you here, or this is, you know, they're thinking about the fact that um, you are their fate, that you are their destiny. Let's go ahead and clarify the Wheel of Fortune here, please. For Taurus as person of interest, why is it? Okay, that was fast. Yeah, okay. So I feel like there's a turning point here for whomever you're dealing with. They're moving forward here with the chariot. But the chariot is also about your person is on their rightful path here. There's going to be a turning point, change in luck and fortune for them here. Um, it can be that they're going to travel in the near future here. There's a turning point happening. Let's find out what that is. Could be a cancer that you're dealing with. Chariot, what's going on? Okay, interesting. So, Four of Cups reps, reps bleh, I can't, if I could talk to you, honestly. Now, remember, this could be vice versa, right? Again, I have to keep saying that because I get comments down below. Is that's not me or I don't want that or whatever? Then it's not your reading or else it's not who you're dealing with or we all have free will to say forget about it, right? Forget about it. We all have that free will. Anyway, so this is somebody who's discontent. They have other options or opportunities, but they're not bothered about them. They're not interested or it's kind of like I'm just in this negative mindset here. Uh, it can be somebody that's just not feeling inspired. They're kind of like discontent. They're ready to move forward. They want change. They want to move forward here with the chariot or they want to travel. Maybe they want to travel. They want to experience new things here. It's like, I'm not happy really where I am. I want to keep moving. Um, I'm, I'm waiting for this turning point. But whatever uh, destined path that your person is on here, it is meant for them here. They could be taking a trip here in the near future. Again, Taurus, that could be you. 
as well, right? We are going to clarify that in the extended. I want to go ahead and get one more message for the justice card here. Why is a justice card? Wow, that was super fast. Okay, yeah. You're sick and tired of carrying the whole load here, I feel, Taurus. I feel like you've been putting in all the effort, all the work, all the time, all the energy in a commitment or a marriage situation for some of you here, and you're just overwhelmed. You want a new beginning. You want something else here. I feel like... Uh, many of you have somebody here that you want to see that you're thinking about at a distance here. Again, for many of you, it's about making future plans. I feel like you've really been holding yourself back here, but you're tired of all the responsibilities. I feel like you're exhausted here. Again, a big strong message of here of you're wanting fairness and balance here. And you're trying to hold up your strength and keep your sanity. And that was the first message I got right off the bat. And again, Spirit wants you to know that you need to um, imagine what your wishes are and to trust your intuition and your spiritual guidance here you are the hero font so again you're always spiritually guided so make sure you listen to your intuition it's if it's screaming at you it's it's there for a reason but spirit wants you to know to look toward the rainbow and realize that the most difficult part of the situation is or will be over very soon it involves spiritual love which also involves by the way spiritual lessons justice balance fairness it will all come into play Okay, so your person has really good intentions towards you here. I feel like a change is coming. Uh, there is a new beginning. It will restore balance and happiness here. The worst is over. The 10 is the end of a difficult cycle. You have three tens, so whatever a difficult period you've been going through, it is going to end. So with that being said, we are going to go ahead and dig so much deeper in the extended, but first I want to get a love compass guidance message for you for the month of April, and then in the extended I will get one for May. What are the messages, please, for Taurus? What are the light love advice guidance message for Taurus for the month of April, please, angels and spirits? What is the message for Taurus for the month of April? Leave me comments down below. Let me know how this resonates for you, and don't forget you're supposed to let me know what your wish is. What is your wish here, Taurus? Okay. That's your homework down below. And don't forget again to hit that like button. It's so important. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's all free to do that. A fantastic and free way to support our channel. Embrace love. Spirit doesn't want you to miss this opportunity here. Make space for another and accept the connection for what it is. Embrace the new opportunities and blessings around you. Open your heart to accept and receive more love. Through embracing vulnerability, you will find strength. So if you've been fighting a love connection here, not embracing this spiritual love, Spirit is saying through embracing vulnerability, you will find strength in that, okay? So trust, again, your divine guidance. This came jumping out. So there's been delays and blocks in manifesting the new relationship in your life. You may be struggling to get out of a certain way of thinking or off a certain path. There are inner wounds that need healing in order to move forward. You are going through a period of deep transformation. This is slow, but definite progress. So Spirit says you are making progress. You will get to lay down whatever has been troubling you in order to move forward here in a new relationship that you've been manifesting, that these delays and blocks will be over. Um, if you've been struggling with making this decision, Spirit wants you to know that there will be healing um, that needs to be done in order to move forward, okay? That you are going through this transformation, and although it's slow, it is um, it is happening for you. So I feel like Spirit's saying in the meantime, take time for yourself to kind of try and have a good time and don't be too overly serious right now, Okay. Uh, your person is definitely ready for more than, than text. Their intentions are good. So if that's your worry, let it go. Their intentions are good. They want long term just like you. They're thinking just like you. They want to reunite just like you. It's right here in your mutual energies. You both want the same thing. Okay, let's start digging. Uh, we're going to dig into uh, the present and the future. We're not going back to the past here. Um, whatever trouble you've been going through here we're moving forward with this new beginning we're going to check out what that might be 
um, at a distance for you possibly here. What are you laying down here? Again, for some of you, it could be a marriage, a commitment, a way of thinking here, the past, past hurts, whatever that is for you. Uh, we're going to also clarify the Four of Cups, the Tarot Sexual Magic we're going to pull as well. We'll pull some more moon messages as well as the Psychic Tarot for you. Oh, and I actually forgot to pull a couple now. Mm -hmm. Let's do that right quick for Taurus. We're already at 29 minutes, so you can't shut me up. Patience and planning. There you go. Wow, Taurus, you've been trying to patient, patiently plan here, the future here. Okay, so I feel like you've really been trying to get your ducks in a row, and you've been trying to kind of hold on to as much strength as you can here. But you're overwhelmed, you're overstressed, and you're overburdened, and you're tired of it. You're ready to lay it down. All right, Taurus, we are going to go into the extended... All right, and I'm also going to pull, I forgot to mention, the angel answer card. So if you have any questions for spirits, I'm going to pull three cards. You can either ask one question, two questions, or three questions. It's entirely up to you. So for those of you that resonated with this, I will meet you over in the extended. For those of you seeing me next time, I will see you next time. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. Share the love, share the light. And um, you can definitely do that by, of course, sharing this video or hitting the like button. I appreciate each and every one of you. It's my passion and my pleasure to read for you. Have a beautiful rest of your weekend, your week, or whenever you're watching these messages. Namaste.